Nerds, and welcome to Star Wars for 100 Days, the ultimate fan countdown leading up to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. We are only 12 days away from the release of the 7th chapter in the greatest sci-fi saga of all time. Today we're going to talk about arguably the most popular Jedi from the Star Wars series, Grandmaster Jedi Yoda. But really, what can I say about Yoda that hasn't already been said before? The movies, the TV shows, documentaries, specials, YouTube videos, everybody has had their say about this character, and everybody seems to love him. But why is that? I think it's because he represents hope. He sort of encapsulates everything about it. He's the ultimate good in the Star Wars universe, and he's always trying to teach that to the younger generations. And yet, at the same time, he's a first-class warrior, one of the greatest in the entire Jedi Order, if not the greatest. Wise, cryptic, grandfatherly, Yoda is one of the greatest characters from the Star Wars universe, and it's amazing how they originally brought this character to life, Thanks, of course, to Frank Oz, one of the greatest actors, filmmakers, and puppeteers of our time. He's been a puppeteer for a lot of famous characters. Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, freaking Cookie Monster, Burt, Grover. And once you know that fact, you can definitely hear that when you listen to Yoda. But Yoda was a lot different than a Muppet. He was actually more of an actual living character. They truly brought this thing to life in the original Empire Strikes Back in his brief scenes in Return of the Jedi. And still, even the CGI younger version of Yoda is still just as amazing, and it's perfect that they had Frank Oz return to that role, because he's the only one who really could have done that. The prequel trilogy was an excuse to finally see the power of Yoda, because in the original trilogy, we were seeing him in his twilight. He was just about dead at this point. He was almost 900 years old. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Hmm? It's hard to pinpoint what my favorite Yoda moment from the series is because, you know, you get kind of conflicted. There's those amazing training moments from Empire Strikes Back, which are all pretty fantastic. Just the introduction of the character, because he's really goofy at first. It almost seems like he's basically lost his marbles. But honestly, he's just as mystic and crazy as ever, and we actually get to see the true side come out later on as he's training Luke Skywalker. And then, of course, you have the prequel trilogies, where he's just really badass. Like, there's so many great scenes with the character. If it's not him having his first battle against Count Dooku, which... First time I saw that in theaters, this was like the day the movie came out, and they didn't show any of that in the trailers. So the minute he pulls out his lightsaber, whole crowd starts going insane. It was one of the most amazing movie experiences of my life. Episode 3 got even crazier. His battle with Darth Sidious was absolutely amazing. Unlike any other battle that we've actually seen from any of the movies, it was a perfect combination of actually using lightsabers and using the Force, especially the way that Darth Sidious would actually throw the different seats around and Yoda would stop them, spin them, and make them even more powerful. My favorite scene from that movie, though, without a doubt, is when he takes his lightsaber and throws it at the clone trooper. It gets stuck in his chest, and then he jumps on top of it to pull the lightsaber out and does this amazing... Amazingly cool pose. Yoda knows that he's badass. He's also an amazing character in the Star Wars The Clone War series where they really do expand on him quite a bit. There are a few episodes that are even dedicated to the character. He makes a really big appearance in the final episode of the series too, which is one of those episodes which is just a perfect companion piece to all of the Star Wars movies. And the best thing about Yoda is that he's inspirational. He makes you want to be the best person that you can be, especially with his most amazing quote. Do or do not. There is no try. This is a quote that I take with me on a weekly basis, and honestly, it's made my life 100% better. It's amazing that my life has been improved by a green puppet from a 1980s sci-fi film. That being said, Yoda is one of the most amazing characters from the series. He's not my favorite Jedi, but he's one of my favorite characters from the entire series, and I can definitely see why he's so popular with everyone. And yet, he's still one of the most mysterious characters of the Star Wars universe, as his species is still a complete and utter mystery. And honestly, I want it to stay that way forever. It always adds a little bit of mysticism to Yoda and his wizened teachings. But are you a fan of Grandmaster Jedi Yoda? Do you have a favorite scene from the movies that he's involved in? Maybe the show Star Wars The Clone Wars? Maybe from the book series? What's your favorite Yoda moment from the series? 
please tell me in the comments section below and make sure to tell me what you want to see from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.